Hi guys, my name is Extreme and I'm here to just say it. I'm tired of Nigeria. Or oh, Nigeria is even tired of me. <laughs> God, man, what are we going to get right in this country? Everything, there's something wrong with everything. Um, I think I can even break it down, but I'll, I'll just talk calm because I know they're happy. I'll go talk calm as it comes my mind. First and foremost, I feel like we should be extirpated. Like this country should just, they, maybe they just scatter everything. Maybe they sell them. Maybe we start a game from TOP. It's, Easy. Let, let me just start basically. My, my problem with this country starts from when you're born. You don't even have a passport. <laughs> like I mean, your parents later have to decide when you grow up whether you will go do passport, whether they will do passport for you or not. I mean, in America, once you are born, I was born in Nigeria. But when you were, when you are born in America, they go give you as they born you, they, they give you your passport. In Nigeria, it's different. I mean, you can just be born and then nobody knows you exist. They can give birth to you in one hospital and then you don't even get your birth certificate until maybe when your university tell you maybe you bring them for post jam or post something. It's just annoying. We don't get it. No records. No, no. When there are no records, how do you want to even take care of the people? The people. That's the essence of the country. People. Okay. And I don't feel leadership in Nigeria covers or looks out for people. I think most people who are just there are just there to fulfill, you know, just uh, make themselves all right and then their family and loved ones. Nepotism basically, rise to the top, make your family great as well, raise those you can raise that you know. Why can't we have a country that I don't know anybody and I'm doing what is right and then I'm successful in, in Nigeria. The first thing when a policeman stops you and then you talk back to him and say, Sir, why are you doing that to me? The next thing they ask you is, who are you? Or who do you think you are? Do I have to be anybody to make a difference? Do I have to be anybody to be unchallenged in Nigeria? Do I have to be anybody? As long as I'm doing the right thing, I don't think I, I need to fear. I don't think I need to go and join the police or need to be something or know someone to, to have an edge. I, they on the edge right now and I want to sit down for years. Eh? Maybe they don't push me small. I don't fall out for this country. If not for comedy, I swear that I don't go to Nigeria. And I'm not joking about this. The, the academic system is just so rigid. If you don't study, uh, if you're not a doctor, if you're not a... Why don't you look at the potentials of a child right from when he was born and create a curriculum, create something around that he can pursue? I mean, if your child, they play with wire from small. We're talking about wire, wire before we start. I mean, you know that it's going to be... A, I'm sorry, I almost said... Yeah, you know that it's going to be probably... It has, it's, ten, it's tending towards electrical engineering, a.k.a. wire, wire. You know, you see him playing with wire. Let him study that. We have schools of technology, um, Yabatech. They are not schools of technology. They don't pass any technology. There's nothing technical. Schools of technology that don't even have Wi-Fi. They don't have access to the internet. Does that make any sense? How do they raise kids in this place? Like, it's crazy. If you're born for Nigeria, it's just like you, 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 are, you, don't, you have already signed off your child. You've signed out about 90% of the success or poss possibility for him to be successful. It, it's just crazy. I mean, let's be honest. We don't get basic things here. Hospitals are... I they vex, so I go cry. I go cry, oh, I go cry. Why can't we just get anything right? I mean, I, I might know the right, I might know the right thing, but does it, that doesn't even mean I should I can be a leader, but I can make a change in my own little place. I think that's another problem. When I was talking about leadership earlier, and everybody thinks, oh, okay, maybe when I get there, I can make a difference. You don't necessarily have to be there. Wherever you are, if you're doing something small, do it well. That way I could be doing so, I could be a policeman and police right in quotes and then somebody I, I, somebody I stop somebody and then the person is expecting me to ask for a bribe and then I treat the person nice and the person is like oh wow not everybody in the police system is actually corrupt that's a difference when you influence posi people rather positively that's a difference so I think um, the generality of the people should have the mindset that in your own little space make a difference it's as simple as that be right if you nobody's perfect yeah personally speaking yeah I'm someone who even in as, in as much as I'm a comedian I'm very, very, I was brought up, okay, in the right way, spiritually upright and all that. If I do something wrong, I feel very guilty. But I don't think 99.9% .9 of people in Nigeria are like that. You feel, you do, even when you do something wrong, restitute, like I mean, go and make a difference, go and say sorry. We don't even have anything right. Okay, I was talking about academics here. Yeah, I said, let, let the curriculum be wide enough to, you know, accommodate anything that your child wants to be. If it's football, now people don't see say okay football is a possibility it's making waves all over the world like people can just grow up go to football school right from when they're young and then they make it that's now even, even even up to now we've still not even realized the potential in football it's crazy 
realize the potentials of people. I mean, there are people, on, a thousand and one of them, under the bridge. You know that this is what they do. This is what they are passionate about. They are not in for the money. They play football for leisure. Go there, realize, select a few people. Let it, be, let it just be a genuine way. We can't get anything right. Why? It's like a sin to be born in Nigeria. It's a sin. I don't want to shout. I don't want to shout. And this is not me shouting. This is me whispering. Because if I shout, if I shout. I know if I shout, I, I, even me, I can't shout. It's crazy, man. Let's get things right. Let's try and do things right. You don't have to be in leadership to make a difference. Just, I know I'm just talking anyhow. I cannot script this. I'm not preaching. I'm just talking anywhere. Anyone will call my mind at the talk. And boy, it's provoking. Why? Uh-uh. It's, it's just crazy. Ah, oh boy, man. I think I need to go for a break. I'm hungry.